ಶಕ್ತಿಂಚಿತ್ರಪರಾಶನಂಚಾಸಂಚಿಂಚಿಂತೋಟಪೂರ್ತಿಕಾರುಣ್ಯಸ್ಮೃತ್ಪುರು
meaning the mantras which are quoted as vishayas of the adhikarana there is the karta ishvara or not or is it jiva or agni so in the earlier example we looked at agni as the karta there and then therefore with that example of the mantra puro pakshi says it is agni upasana or jiva upasana whereas it is paramatma jnana it is not even upasana as per the siddhanti it's a brahma ji nirvishesh brahma ji so showing the karta without kartrutvam also showing the karta from the perspective of the vyavahara because such a srishti exists where there is varnashrama bheda brahma kshatra are there and all this is consumed by yama raja consumed in sense the dharma vyavastha is imposed by dharma raja yama raja and he takes away whenever the time is ready for a person to leave the body he takes the jiva away therefore figuratively you know as a rhetoric it is said that he is the he is a consumer which was misunderstood by the puro pakshi as agni or jiva and then since that mrutyu is also upasachana for yasya for for whoever that whoever has to be parmatma but without kartrutva that is shown by extension from the earlier hetu is given in the earlier adhikarana there is no fresh hetu which is given here to show kartrutva bhava i have said that it will come up all over the uh, brahma sutras because in the vishaya vakyas it is going to come up the vishaya vakyas wherever there is discussion in the upanishad between puro pakshi and siddhanti siddhanti will establish kartrutva bhava and when brahma is shown as same which is the swarup of atma jiva swarup of jiva is atma that atma which is advitti atma one with brahma their kartrutva bhava is shown all over the upanishads by bhagwan bhashyakara and when they are quoted that conclusion has to be taken therefore i said that it will be established in the uh, brahma sutra as well with through vishaya vakyas may not be directly because there there may not be the vritti which establish kartrutva because it has already been done earlier we have seen in that karta bhokta jiva is not being mentioned at all in any vishaya vakya where aikya is talked about so jnana wherever there is jnana about paramatma and atma all those are the upadi rahita atma anyway with that background uh, i hope there would be no confusion because yesterday i have felt that you know uh, i was not able to clarify that point uh, very well so so we saw the this thing as what atta chara chara grahana the first sutra in atra adhikarana atta chara chara grahana this atta who is adana karta bhojana karta bhakshana karta of brahma kshatra meaning all the varnas all the jivas including mrutyu yama raja is paramatma because chara is also there along with achara grahana there is also chara heard so chara is heard he is a consumer of chara also and sentient sentient beings can be consumed figuratively also only by paramatma not by anyone else not by agni not by jiva so to summarize and then prakarana acha if you go back a few mantras in katha from 25th you go back to 18th mantra in the second valli of the prathama adhyaya you will see that the uh, you will see that it is it is this prakarana of brahma it is, it is prakarana of this very brahma which is discussed in upanishad where prasiddhi was discussed in the opening of the of this pada in the brahma sutra in brahma sutra the prasiddhi prasiddhyadikaranam showed that this brahma is well known across upanishad that is under discussion in katha upanishad also na jayate mriyate va vipaschit and then ajah nityah shashvatah 
पुराण हा दीज वर्ड्स हैव बीन यूज एंड इफ इवन दैट इज नॉट क्लियर न हन्य ते हन्य माने शरीर है ओ दैट कैन बी जीवात्मा डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द शरीर ऑफ दैट इज अ क्लेम दैट दैट आत्मा बीइंग अजह नित्य शाश्वत इफ यू से वी हैव नो इश्यूज वी हैव नो इश्यूज विद दैट काइंड ऑफ एन आत्मा बिकॉज़ दैट आत्मा इज ब्रह्म फॉर अस फॉर यू इट मे बी इंडिविजुअलाइज आत्मा बट देयर इज नो प्रूफ ऑफ इंडिविजुअलिटी अदर देन द स्थूल एंड सूक्ष्म शरीर व्हिच अपीयर टू सेगमेंट द जीवा देयर इज मीनिंग सेगमेंट द आत्मा एज जीवा देयर इज नो प्रमाण फॉर individuality at all there is no pramana there is no way that anyone can prove that there is an individual is atma any which way in fact there are tarka granthas there is one tarka grantha which not tarka grantha it is based on tarka advaita grantha based on shuddha tarka there is nothing else only tarka because the puro pakshi is of today also puro pakshi is of to advaita of the modern era also they are prachanna tarkikas they are hidden tarkikas they may say that we have this siddhanta that siddhanta they don't talk about siddhanta much they accuse bhagwan bhashyakara as a person also they have personal attacks and when it comes to shastra if uh, we point out that look at this what bhagwan bhashyakara is saying look at the context of the upanishad they'll say they use tarka there they will use tarka they will have something as an established tatparya which is wrong which cannot be proven and then they will change the words by using unheard of rules in vyakarana shastra also they will use nairuktam and all that and they will bring in and establish something which cannot be established which will contradict their own stance somewhere else it will contradict with upanishad statements elsewhere smriti granthas also so they are using tarka as a primary tool by claiming themselves to be vedantins so in that scenario you need newer granthas which are based on upanishads but they also use shuddha tarka so there is one grantha which actually puts the onus the shifts the onus of proof on the puro pakshi for everything the hetu given is swapnavat if the puro pakshi says that okay this is how it is uh, there is dvaita there is uh, multiplicity there is ishwara who is separate from jiva jivas are many look at the anubhava all this claim made by the dvaitin since there is a world which is experience out, outside since there are people and things may experience outside the siddhanti says only one thing swapnavat you show me how it is different from swapna swapna they may say swapna is also satya but that has already been established we can you know bring in uh, mandukya karika and show then puro pakshi has to prove that this is different from swapna and there is no such proof so the onus of proving that an individualized jiva exists is put on the puro pakshi you prove it we are just saying that upanishad says that there is only one atma that is brahma sachidananda brahma brahmatma you prove that there is individual jivatma separate from brahma you prove it you prove even one not even multiple you have to prove one jiva separate from brahma there is no such proof it is just not possible to prove feelings and emotions have no meaning there because you are using tarka now you should prove by tarka or you quote an upanishad vakya which is pramana for us if you think that upanishad is a pramana you agree agree in totality it is not that you agree uh, on face value and then use tarka if you use upanishad we have already shown we will just show you bhashya and how it is established as to aikya how is aikya established but if you use tarka then you prove with tarka so uh, advaitin has even refuted the modern era prachanna tarkikas let them call them by any other name 
but they are using tarka so we have also proven by tarka that what you are proving is wrong there is no such proof anyway that's an aside just to say that uh, the bhoktrutva hetu will also extend whatever hetu has been used for bhoktrutva abhava will also extend to kartrutva abhava now prakranacha so you have to look at the context and with the context you know that since this is ajaha nitya atma and this atma is brahma paramatma it is not jiva who is limited atma that kind of jiva is not upasya here this aikya is a topic there paramatma is being talked about and then aikya is mentioned that being the context prakrana therefore also this akarta abhukta paramatma is the main topic tatparya of the prakrana and therefore nirguna brahmadi or nirvishesha brahmadi is the conclusion of the upanishad understanding jnana dhi is understanding buddhi the buddhi should take place understanding should take place about this nirguna brahma which is ekameva dvitiya it is not an upasana at all let alone agni upasana or jiva upasana then with these with with these two sutras the prakrana is uh, the adhikarana is over in the in brahma sutra now fresh adhikarana starts i forgot to read this i looked at the mantra which was quoted but then guha pravishta adhikaranam so guha pravishta adhikaranam where guha is being talked about pura pakshi is objecting that this guha just like he said hridesha earlier now he is saying this hridesha guha whatever you call it whatever the upanishad calls the space as we are not talking about space now there are two which are discussed what you are doing says the purva pakshi is that you are taking one as jiva the other as parmatma in rutam pibanto sukratasya loke in that mantra in katopanishad which comes up and there is a similar mantra in mundaka so i was looking at mundaka but then here the quotation is from katopanishad itself if you go little further in another valli you will see another uh, pada however you see that another section of that upanishad opens up with there being two two what pibantu so there are two bhoktas just to loosely interpret from the puro pakshi's perspective there are two right whether they are karta bhoktas or not however you say there are two there is dvaita there now in that to dvaita what you look look at who is one who is the other in that analysis you the siddhanti says the purva pakshi you are taking one as jiva the other as parmatma and you are saying jiva bhinna parmatma is the tatparya there and that is how you are making samanvaya you are showing samanvaya in the samanvaya adhyaya with katha mantra where rutam pibantu rutam is so the mantra here is rutam pibantu sukratasya loke that mantra so i have not uh, i uh, i didn't add that mantra here i wanted to add the mantra and the bhashya so i started off and then uh, uh, you know got distracted with something else i couldn't continue this effort so anyway rutam pibantu sukratasya loke if you just look at this rutam pibantu sukratasya loke what is what is being said so the mantra really is rutam pibantu sukratasya loke guham pravishto parame parardhe chhaya tapo brahma vido vadanti panchagnayo ye cha ye cha trinachiketah so trinachiketah the, the agni tretagni which was talked about and uh, i will look that in the last part ha there those who have done this agni karya and upasana agnod agni karya agni karma so that uh, the all the shrota karmas which have been taught by yamaraja to nachiketa and got nachiketa's name therefore they are called as trinachiketa those who have done that karma and upasana panchagni or panchagni or tretagni those are said to be what, are, what so they the uh, ritam pibanto sukrata siloke 
देर सुकृत लोके इन दि लोक सुकृत सुकृत से सुष्टुकृत यू कैन टेक जस्ट नाउ जस्ट यू नो सुष्टुकृत वॉट इज दट एक्चुअली दैट इज कर्म वॉट एवर दिस दिस त्रिनाचिकेता दि कर्मा दे हैव डन ये पंचाग्नय ये चिनाचिकेता दोज हैव डन त्रेताग्नि और पंचाग्नि कर्म एंड उपासना वॉट अबाउट देम दे शुड गेट फला दे हैव डन दिस कर्म एंड उपासना दे शुड गेट फला so their phala is definite so that is said by loke ye ek ek ap who are karmis and upasakas their karma is what sukrata so sukratasya rutam rutam is satyam we hear rutam rutam vachmi satyam vachmi said so rutam is their result is definite it's going to be there so loke sukrutasya rutam pibantau then who is a consumer of that ruta phala karma phala avashyam bhavi bhagwan bhashyakara says rutam is equal to satyam there is a difference between rutam and satyam and both are talked about otherwise rutam has you know rudi artha of satyam as well when both are discussed then satyam and rutam are separated satyam is the way it is in your buddhi if you utter it then that's that is satya in keeping with what you are thinking the vachana is in keeping with your thinking that is satya rutam is if that statement is in keeping with the fact also so rutam is fact the way it is in the world the way you understand it you have expressed that is satya but way you have understood it may not be the way it is in the world that rutam may stand separate if rutam the fact is known to you and you state it exactly so the way it is known to you then it is rutam as well as satyam then rutam will mean satyam however there are places where there are times and places where a person may have seen some as factual data some may have come to know through other sources as factual data or in that time it may be factual and when one narrates it in keeping with one's understanding that is still satya but then the facts have changed so it may not be rutam when he expressed that statement satya statement it may not be rutha but still it will be satya because he knew the way it is back then it was back then and he uttered that very same understanding he didn't twist the facts as he knew he didn't twist the facts but the fact has changed later therefore rutam and satyam are different then so just to explain why have rutam but rutam alone when it is used it need not be contrasted with satyam so rutam is satyam then bhagwan bhashikar what is that satyata in that rutatvam it is avashyam bhavitvam so karma phala it is basically karma phala is avashyam bhavi definite result will be there if one has done karma it is not applicable only to these panchagni and tritagni karmas it is applicable to any vaidika and laukika karma but the context of the shastra is vaidika karma so therefore rutam in that context of tretagni this comes up but you can extend it to laukika karma also this rutam karma phala that's what it means karma phalam pibantau that's what it will mean finally karma phalam pibantau there are two now who are partaking of the results of karma who are those two so puro pakshi says you are taking one as jiva the other as paramatma where paramatma has no bhoktrutva has no kartrutva therefore although pibanto has been mentioned he will not be really bhokta which we already established and we cannot go back and say no 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 and we don't even want to do that so puro pakshi is saying that okay he is not bhokta all right but by what basis have you taken one as jivad and the other as paramatma whereas there is a possibility of taking one as buddhi and the other as jivatma so jivatma is also bhokta and buddhi in buddhi antakarana you have bhoga therefore that is also buddhi can be one so you can make the bheda in that manner and then tatparya there will be to show atma as separate from buddhi in which case your samanvaya will fall apart 
So in each and every of these adhikarana, what is established is samanvaya. And Puropakshi by taking that away, taking Brahma as Tatparya Nishya away, if he proves even in one case that Brahma is not the Tatparya, Jiva or Agni or Prana or Akasha is the Tatparya, then your samanvaya falls apart. And if that falls apart, then every sutra that has gone by, every vishaya mantra that you have quoted in each and every adhikarana, that will be questionable. So in this background, you have to see all the puro paksha. So what is the sutra? Guham pravishtav atmano hi tad darshanat. Guham pravishtav atmano hi tad darshanat. Guham pravishtav atmano hi Tad darshana. Tad darshana is one word. So, pravishtav atmano. These atmas, two atmas are there, which are pravishtav. Now, this atma word has already been shown earlier as it's a loaded word. It can mean a lot of things. It can mean pradhana also, said the sankhya. Because atma means primary. Primary, pradhana, these words are there. It can mean pradhana also. I mean, literally primary, I'm saying, but in Sanskrit, I will say pradhana. And that pradhana can be misunderstood misinterpreted by the Sankhya as his own Pradhana, which is Prakriti or Maya, as per the uh, terminology used in Vedanta Shastra. Similarly, Atma can be used for Sharira also, it can be used for Antakrana also, Atma can be used for something which is uh, you know, Buddhi also in that case, because Antakrana. So, Atma has many meanings. Now, when you say Pravishtav Atma, no, there are two. It's a Dhyavachana. There are two Atmas. One can be Antakkarana. Other can be Atma, which is Jeevatma. So, what is the problem in this interpretation? Says the Puro Pakshi. So, Guham Pravishtav. They have entered the Guha. In the, so, they have entered the Guha. Two Atmas. He Taddarshana says the Siddhanti. What is that? Siddhanti says Guham Pravishtavu Jeevau and Paramatmanu. Whereas Puropakshi is saying Buddhi and Jeevatma. So Buddhi and Jeevatmanu, Buddhi Jeevatmanu, Buddhi Atmanu, Buddhi Atmanu says the Puropakshi. Whereas Siddhanti is saying Jeeva Paramatmanu. How? How do you say so? If the Puropakshi asks, he, he is Yasmat. Yataha, Yasmat, Karana. What is that? Hetu is given. Yasmat. Tad Darshanat. Tad Darshanat. We'll see Yasmat. Why so? Why so? We'll see in the Vritti. But he shows Yasmat. Why? Because there is such mention. Tad Darshanat. In Ritam Pibantau, Tad Darshanat. Their Karma Phala Bhoga Shravana is there. It is mentioned that Karma Phala Bhoga. Ritam is karma phala and karma phala karma phalam pibantau means karma phala bhoga is there tad darshana that is darshana is shravana there tad darshana is tad shravana because two atmas are heard there and those atmas have to be sentient beings they cannot be insentient buddhi and sentient atma they have to be one sentient jiva and another sentient paramatma and just by saying they are karma phala bhokta one will be real bhokta, the other will not be bhokta, will be misunderstood as bhokta. As Jagatkarta, Nirvishesha Brahma is not Jagatkarta. Savishesha Brahma is Jagatkarta. So Jagatkartruttam is superimposed. Bhoktruttam is also superimposed. So Pibantu, there is an imagination that this is also bhokta. But when one sees, in Mundaka especially it is said, when one sees this as separate from oneself, as in this Paramatma is not Bhokta, then one will know one's own nature also, I am also not Bhokta. Maybe much, much, much later, but still, that Swarupa can be known. So, Kathavalli says this, Dhritam Pibantu, therefore, Tad Darshanat, these Guham Pravishtavu are Atmanu, they are not Jeeva, so Atmanu there is Jeeva, and so Pibantu, see, there is no word Atmano there. So although I explained as Atmano, Atmano in the Sutra also can mean that. But what where Puro Pakshi is coming from is not from the Atma. So let me make that correction. It's actually a correction. 
I should not have said Puro Pakshi is looking at Atmanu. Puro Pakshi is looking at Pibantu. Siddhanti is saying Pibantu means Atmanu. Because the word there, there is no Atma word there. What is, what is the mantra? Rutam Pibantu Sukurtasya Loke Guham Pravishtu Parame Parardhe So Parama, Parame, Parame, this Guham Pravishtu Those who have entered the Guha, there are two. Who are those? They are Pibantu, Rutam Pibantu, meaning they are Karma Palabh. Karma Phala Bhoktas. That is all which is said there. And Parame Parardhe. So there Bhagavan Bhashyakara says that this uh, Guha is what? Asmin Sharire Buddha Pravishtu. Guha is Buddhi. It is Upalabdhisthana. Of Atma it is Upalabdhisthana. Hridaya Pundari Kasha. So uh, the Hridaya Kasha which looks like a Pundari ka inverted lotus it is of the size of the fist, closed fist of a human being. So it is of that size. All these discussions are there. And then they say, you know, this Angushta Matra of Purusha elsewhere. All these mantras mean Upalabdhisthana. All, all of them mean Buddhi. How so? The Atma which is in the Buddhi, meaning Atma which is understood in the Buddhi. Upalabdhisthana is Buddhi. Therefore, it is called as Hridakasha, Hridayakasha, or Pundarikakasha, or. Uh, you know the Hridaya Gata, whatever you say, Angushta Matra. Why Angushta Matra is because the size of the fist is shown by the thumb which is closed within the fist. So the fist, other four fingers surround the thumb and then it appears as though the, the fist, if you look at it, in the inverted lotus kind of a shape, the size of the thumb, if the Purva Pakshi were to say that it is Angushta Matra of Purusha that is mentioned in another mantra. That is also not the size. Only to talk about the size of the fist it has been mentioned. And that is the space of the heart. So Angushta Matra of Purusha is that Purusha who is in the space of the heart. Which is said as Hridaya Akash elsewhere. So then both mantras can be shown to have the same meaning. And then okay if it is Hridaya Akash what is it? Is it the space of the heart literally no. It is that Sukshma Buddhi, Sukshma Antakkarana which is there. Hrudaya by Hrudaya the word is, the Hrudaya Akasha, whatever is there is that Antakkarana which plays the role of Buddhi where there is that Buddhi is Upalabdhisthana where Paramatma, the subtlest of this, subtler than the subtlest Tattva can be understood with great difficulty. Durlaba, that kind of Atma is understood in that buddhi, therefore that buddhi is upalabdhisthana, therefore understanding taking place, jnana taking place through vritti, brahmakara vritti in that buddhi which is in hridaya akasha, which is of the size of angushta matra, fist surrounding that angushta, therefore such words have been used. And samanvaya into brahma is shown across these mantras. So the reason I am talking about all these is because Guham Pravishtu, this is also similar mantra. This Guham Pravishtu, this Guha is Buddhi or Hridaya Akasha where Upalabdhi takes place. It finally means Buddhi. So Bhagavan Bhashyakar under that mantra says Guham, Guhayam Pravishtu. Guha, Guham is actually not second case. It should be understood as Guhayam. Guha is Trilinga. Guha means second case but Guham Pravishtu is Chandasa. What is meant is Guha Yam Pravishtu. Those who have entered in the Guha. Who are those? So Pibantu is mentioned. Pibantu is explained by Bhagavan Bhashyakara as, as Jeeva and Paramatma. Then why is Paramatma called as Pibat? Piban or Bhokta? Shatranta Pada there. Pibat. Who is experiencing the Karma Phala? So there Bhagavan Bhashyakara says, Ekas tatraha karma phalam pibati. Rutam karma phalam ekaha pibanti. While one is, uh, so, sorry, ek, ekaha pibati, the pibati is tinganta, but pibati is mentioned. And actually what is the shatranta pada? Lata shatrashana chau. So it is in lat meaning, vartamana kala. So experiencing the results of the action. So if you split them, one is, Piban, the other is Piban in Pullinga. So one Pibati, ek, Ekaha 
कर्म फलम पिबती भूंगते हैज भोग भोग करोती वेर न इतर द अदर डज नॉट परमात्मा डज नॉट वी हैव ऑलरेडी एस्टाब्लिश दैट इज नॉट अ भोक्ता और करता इन दी अर्लियर टू अधिकरण नाव तथा पात्र संबंध पिबंत इतुच्यते छत्री न्याय सो इज छत्री न्याय छत्री न्याय यू सी पीपल गोइंग विथ अम्रेलाज नॉट एवरी वन इज गोइंग विथ अम्रेलाज इवन इन द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड वी कैन यूज दिस एक्सापल सेंग दट इट्स रेनिंग हेवली सम आर गोइंग विथ देर रेन कोट्स अदर्स आर गोइंग विथ देर अम्रेलाज सम आर इवन यू नो दे आर दे डोंट इवन हैव एनी एनी प्रोटेक्शन दैट वे दे आर यू नो ड्रेंज इन द रेन बट स्टिल इफ यू लुक एट मेनी अम्रेलाज You will say that I mean you say oh look at so many people the beautiful umbrellas are there if you see a top view or something so you say we'll look at those people with umbrellas not all of them are with umbrellas so that is called a chhatri nyaya so chhatri nyaya means you look at many who are what you point want to point out is those people who are carrying umbrellas and thereby you just say look at those people who are carrying umbrellas so chhatri chhatri na chhatri na gachanti so those who have the umbrella chhatra chhatra is umbrella and those who are carrying umbrella are chhatri in plural chhatrina chhatrina gachanti but not everyone is carrying an umbrella so others who are not carrying umbrellas they are not to be understood as with umbrellas that is clear to the onlooker also to whoever that statement is made he knows that your your intention is only to convey one who is one those those people who are carrying umbrellas but not those who are not carrying umbrellas they are not literally covered in that similarly here although pibantu has been mentioned it is by extension by chhatri nyaya because of proximity proximity in sense that jeeva who is really paramatma if you split the bhokta jeeva and the abhokta jeeva then there will be two atmas as though two atmas there are no two atmas but if at all you have to say one is paramatma as sakshi sarva सर्व हृदय गता साक्षी दैट साक्षी परमात्मा इज सेपरेट फ्रॉम जीवा एज लॉन्ग एज जीवा डज नॉट हैव दिस ऐक्य ज्ञान ही विल ही विल रिमेन सेपरेट ऑल दो देर इज नो रियल सेपरेशन ड्यू टू अविद्या देर विल बी सेपरेशन एंड दैट सेपरेशन बीइंग देर वन विल हैव द टैग ऑफ जीवात्मा एज अदर एज परमात्मा वेर दैट जीवात्मा इज कर्म फल भोक्ता दैट इज वाई जीवा ही हेज टेकन अ प्राण एंड दिस शरीर ओनली बिकॉज he wants karma phala whereas paramatma is nitya trupta he does not want anything in fact uh, in uh, uh, to show kartrutva abhava even uh, uh, all these uh, srishti vakyas how the srishti took place is refuted by bhagwan uh, gaudapada acharya in uh, mandukya karika we saw that during mandukya there mandukya karika uh, there is a Uh, beautiful word used by the karika kara as to those who look at this srishti how this srishti took place how this vyavastha is all that analysis they are doing they are srishti chintakaha no to tattva chintakaha they are srishti chintaka why would you waste your entire life looking at what kind of srishti is this how it came about from ishwara so all this discussion is in the in the at the level of mithya you are establishing mithya srishti which is not going to be useful finally so the idea is he says uh, there are many he says that there are many ways srishti is talked about in upanishad it is talked about in purana some way and some say it is leela we will we know very well leela it is bhagwan's leela we say that is all mithya he says that that leela also leela is you know because it, bhagwan wants to play they say So he says, Nitya Trupta se kas praha. What Lila are you talking about? Nitya Trupta Ishvara. So this Nitya Trupta Ishvara cannot have karma phala bhoga. He has no business with your karma phala. He he has only one business there. If at all you have to say, is to give your karma phala bhoga. So he is sitting there watching what karma you do, as though recording it, and giving you phala when it is ripe for fructification, whether in this life or in later life. Lives. Therefore, rutam pibantu through chhatri nyaya will apply will be applicable as karma phala pibati karma phalam pibati to the jiva, whereas karma phala apibat 
अपिवन ईश्वर परमात्मा सो एक कर्म फल भुंगते इतर न भुंगते बट ड्यू टू दिस प्रॉक्सिमिटी संबंध बाय प्रॉक्सिमिटी वी मिस अंडरस्टैंड एंड वी से बोथ आर पिबंत एंड सुकृत इज सृष्टिकृत इज एक्चुअली स्वयं कृता यू हैव युअर सेल्फ गॉट दिस कर्म इन दिस लोक एंड देर फोर यू विल गेट रिजल्ट ऋतम सत्यम इन दिस लोक स्वयं सुकृत से स्वयं से भगवान भाष्य कर सृष्टिकृत से स्वयं से कर्म विल हैव डेफिनेट रिजल्ट दैट्स व्हाट इट मींस एंड लोके इज बेसिकली इन दिस वर्ल्ड बट ही सेज देयर अस्मिन शरीरे इन दिस वेरी शरीर यू विल गेट भोग वेन इट इज राइट फॉर फ्रक्टिफिकेशन वेर लोके अन्वय ऑल्सो कैन बी लोके गुहां प्रविष्ट इन दिस शरीर इन देर इज अ गुहा हृदय आकाश इन विच दीज दिस अनेन जीवात्म अनुप्रविश्य ऑल दैट यू नो मंत्र एल्स वेर इन तैत्रीय छांदोक्य दे विल ऑल कम टूगेदर बिकॉज दे हैव द तात्पर्य विषय एज वन ब्रह्म एंड परमे एंड परारदे से यू नो पर ब्रह्मण अर्धम अर्धम स्थान परारदम हार्दाकाशम से एंड दिस परमे परारदे दट परमे एंड परारदे सामनाधिकरण सो परम इज दट परम इज बिकॉज ही सेज बाह्य पुरुष आकाश संस्थान अपेक्षया परम कंपेर्ड टू दी आकाश औट दिस हृदय आकाश इज परम इट इज सुपीरियर एंड इन दैट हृदय आकाश दिस परारध स्थान हार्दाकाश दिस गुहा एक्जिस्ट एज अ केव इन विच दी परमात्मा जीवा हैव एंटर्ड बुद्ध प्रविष्ट भगवान भाषा कर बुद्ध प्रविष्ट गुहायाम बुद्ध प्रविष्ट एंड देन तस्मिन ही परम ब्रह्म उपलभ्यते सो दैट बुद्धि इज उपलब्धि स्थान एंड देन छाया तपो ब्रह्म विदो वदंति दे आर लाइक छाया तप सो न छाया आतप छाया एंड आतप सो इज दैट वेरी मंत्र सिद्धांति नाउ सेज यू आर लुकिंग एट गुहां प्रविष्ट आत्मा नौ वन इज बुद्धि द अदर इज आत्मा इज युअर क्लेम वी से वन इज जीवात्मा अदर इज परमात्मा बट वॉट इज युअर क्लेम देर विल इट यू नो स्टैंड स्क्रुटिनी वेन द नेक्स्ट लाइन ऑफ द मंत्र से छाया तपो ब्रह्म विदो वदंति दोज हू नो ब्रह्म दोज आर ब्रह्म ज्ञानी दोज हू नो वेद वेदांता दे से दे आर छाया एंड आतप लाइक छाया एंड आतप दे आर पोल अपार्ट छाया इज शैडो आतप इज द सन सो वॉट इज इट द कॉन्ट्रास्ट द कॉन्ट्रास्ट इज दे आर पोल्स अपार्ट सो हाउ कैन यू से हाउ कैन यू मिस इंटरप्रेट पिबंत as buddhi and jivatma jiva and uh, jiva and buddhi are not poles apart but jiva and paramatma are poles apart one is chaya the other is atapa one is samsari the other is asamsari therefore therefore the result will be for the karmi not to akarmi paramatma and if you say buddhi and jivatma that will also not not be right why so for that the sutra vritti gives hetu that is not there in the kathavalli because kathavalli there is no such discussion bhagwan bhaskara does not deal with this there the there the section which talks about this result is the, the conclusion of the bhashya i'll just read there tauja chaya tapo iva vilakshana which we looked at samsaritva asamsaritva uh, the bheda is samsaritva and asamsaritva between jiva and parmatma so brahma vidho vadanti kathayanti but then later he says na na kevala karmina na kevalam akarmina eva vadanti so panchagneha grahastha all that yeche uh, there is no no further uh, discussion on this so the the context ends there the context the discussion on the context ends there bhagwan bhashyakara has no purva paksha there there is no purva paksha raised in that mantra at least earlier it may have gone by later it may come up but then in that mantra there is no purva paksha now the purva paksha in the brahma sutra is this guham pravishto atmano hi tad darshana purva pakshi is saying that why can't it be buddhi and jiva why would you have to take as jiva and parmatma the hetu given in the vritti is that i mean uh, implied in there 
I'll mention this. We'll go through the vritti and then I'll talk about it. Atra puro pakshe buddhi binda jiva jnanam. So puro pakshe is saying there is jnana all right. It is not upasana. It's okay. It's jiva and buddhi. So jnana of jiva and buddhi. Buddhi binda jiva. So jiva is separate from buddhi. Ritam pibanto is mentioned. One is and chaya atapo. Yes, there is. There is difference. One is like chaya. The other is like atapa. But I can also say jada and ajada. Jada ajada is they are poles apart. So buddhi is jada and jiva is ajada. So I can show you chaya atapo also fits. Says the puro pakshi. So buddhi vinna jiva jnanam. So you have to know this jiva is separate from buddhi. Siddhanti tu jiva vilakshana paramatma paramatma jnanam miti phala bheda ha. So we have seen that Siddhanti is saying one is jiva, the other is paramatma and jiva vilakshana paramatma. Not buddhi vilakshana jiva but jiva vilakshana paramatma is being shown in that mantra. Katha valli shu evam shuruyate. What is heard in katha valli? Ritam pibanto sukatasya loke ityadi. We saw this. Tatra kim buddhi jiva nirdishtau. Are they talking about buddhi and jiva or uta jiva paramatma no iti vishaye. When there is a samshaya that whether those two who have entered the guha are they buddhi and jiva or they are jiva and paramatma? Pura Pakshi is saying buddhi and jiva. Siddhanti is saying that guha means buddhi. So there is no buddhi separate now. Buddhi is consumed in guha. And then those two have entered the guha are jiva and paramatma. Uta jiva paramatma no viti vishay. Buddhi jiva viti pura paksha. Siddhantastu iha guham pravishtau jiva paramatma no eva. It cannot be jiva and paramatma. Guha means buddhi. And in that Guha, because every other Upanishad, Hridaya Akasha Ityadi means Buddhi. So they have entered the Buddhi if you say he or both of them. If you say uh, in one Upanishad it is said that uh, Anena Jivatmana Anupravishya. So that same creator entered, Ishwara entered the Sharira in the Hridaya as Jiva. So there are no two really. But here two have said to be, you know, they have entered. So, okay, if you say two also, two by Bheda. Bheda in the sense one is having Kartrutra Buddhi, the other is not having Kartrutra Buddhi. And what is that? Actually, in the Anena Jivena, anu at, uh, jivena Atmana Anupravishya, in that mantra also, Jiva is Pratibimba. So, Brahma is there which is the Swarup of Atma and Jiva is actually Pratibimba or Abhasa in Abhasa Vada. So there are as though two there. One is the original Bimba, the other is Pratibimba. Pratibimba is not separate from Bimba at all. So there are no two. But as Bimba and Pratibimba there are two. Just like you are looking in a mirror, you are there and then there is an image in the mirror. The image has no reality separate from you. So it has a dependent reality. So if you look at it from one perspective, both are one. Because there is no second. It is not both are one. There is no second. So it, there is Bada Saman Ali there. The image that I see in the mirror is me. What it means is that the image is the, the image is also me is not the meaning. What it means is that there is no image. That image is not real. The, as an image you can give some reality to it. But it is not a person. It is not a separate person. There is no person. That person is only me. There is only one person that is me. So there are two from another perspective. Looking at there is an image, Pratibimba and Bimba, the original me. So this mantra is talking about the Bimba and Pratibimba. And the way Bimba has Bhoga, uh, so Pratibimba has Bhoga, one misunderstands the Bimba also has Bhoga. Just because you see cracks on the mirror, you can't make out that there are cracks or you know there are uh, spots on the mirror. You think they are on your face when you are looking in the mirror. It may appear so. You know, for example, you know, there are, uh, if you go to, uh, uh, you know, so you look, look at a mirror, some mirror, and then, uh, or in, in some families, you know, when there are there are a lot of women, they they put their, uh, this, what they call the, the, the kumkum, the, the, the sticker kind of a thing, the, what you call as, uh, uh, the, the, the bindu that they stick on their forehead, that, Sticker, they'll you know they'll just take it out and put it on the mirror. So if you are standing in front of the mirror, you look at it, you'll see as though you know the, the image that appears, the the reflection in the mirror will be as as though that uh, that kumkum is on your forehead. 
in, in the Hindi and uh, in Mumbai they call it as tikli. I don't know what, what is the right word to use there. So you, you are getting the idea. So that is on your forehead, but it is not on your forehead. Just to give an example. So it can be misunderstood. Oh, I've got something on my forehead. It is not there. Similarly, all the kartrutva, hoktrutva is misunderstood to be in oneself when it is there in the antakkarna. So two can be a misunderstanding. And since there is anubhava of two, saying that we say, oh, you know, I don't know, I mean, I can't do anything, whatever Bhagavan does. So with even, even the best of uh, jnanis would use this, whatever Bhagavan wishes. That Bhagavan is not separate. That jnani knows that the Bhagavan is not separate. But still, there is Vyavahara like that. So Shruti gives validity to that and says, Rutam Pivantau. They are Jiva and Paramatma. Iti Vishay Jiva Buddha Viti. Uh, so Buddhi Jiva Viti. Puro Paksha, Puro Paksha. And Siddhantastu Iha, Iha Guham Pravishtau Jiva Paramatmano Eva. Why Eva? Kutaha. Atmano He. He is. Yasmat Karanat, Yasmat Karanat, he is Yasmat, Atmano Chetano. So that is the Hetu. Taddarshanat, the Hetu given is because both are Chetana. If you say Chaya and Atapa are the poles apart, as are words used for poles apart, the poles apart meaning cannot be with Jada and Ajada because both are said to be Chetana. How so? Because of this reason. Rutam Pibantau iti karma phala bhoga shravedena. Because of karma phala bhoga has been mentioned and that bhoga cannot be possible for ajada buddhi. Then Puro Pakshi says, okay, it is not, I, here also he can say chatri nyaya. He will say chatri nyaya, no, one is bhokta, the other is not bhokta. The way you say, the way your Bhagavan Bhashyakara says it, I will also say. Buddhi and jiva can be the meaning. Whereas, karma phala bhoga is only jiva, buddhi is not a, not a bhoktri at all. Chatri nyaya, I'll also say, chatri nyaya, na. how will you refute that? So there, Bhagavan uh, uh, Sadashiva Brahmendra, Bhagavan Sadashiva Brahmendra says, ekasya atmatve dvitiyasya api atmatvam nyayam. He says, if one is atma, the other also has to be atma. Therefore, jiva and paramatma. You cannot say one is Anatma buddhi, other is Atma jiva. Why so? Why not say so? So further he says, it is Nyayam. What is in Nyaya? In Loka also. So Tatra Hetuhu, Taddarshanat. What is Taddarshanat? Sankhya Shravanecha, Sankhya Vatoho, Eka Rupatvasya, Loke Darshanat Ityartha. He says, Taddarshanat is Shruti, Shravanat. Other way to look at it is when Puro Pakshi objects and he says, no, no, Tad Darshana, this Guham Pravishta Vatma, no, you say they are Jeeva and Atma, need not be so, they need not be sentient. So he says, okay, Loke Tad Darshana, Siddhanti says, look, in Loka you see that, what is that Sankhya Sharavanecha, Sankhya Vatoho, Ekarupatvasya, Loke Darshana, in the world, you see so. If one is Atma, the other has to be Atma. If one, if Dvivachana is heard or the second time something is stated, it has to mean something in a similar category. It cannot be something totally different. So there, uh, the uh, Siddhanti is saying, Loke, Tad Darshana, Puru, what, what is your example in Loka? He says, look at it. If the father tells the child, get a book, get that book. From my room, you get one book. And then while he is going, he says, you get another also. There are two on the table, you get. So, ekam, ekam pustam, pustaka manaya. And then he says, dvitiya manaya. He does not say pustakam. He says, you get the other, get another. So, the kid has brought one book. And the second time, the father is not saying, you get the book. What is he saying? First, ekam pustakam anaya. Now he says, dvitiya anaya. Bring the other. Anya anaya. So he says, you bring the other. Anyat. Now, having heard pustaka in the first sankhya, with the eka, 
dvitiyam with that sankhya when it is said you bring the second sankhya shravana when you hear the sankhya which is associated with the earlier which was pustaka then second also has to be pustaka he cannot bring a pot or something so if you say ghatamane then the second dvitiyamane will also mean ekam ghatamane and then dvitiyam ghatamane it has to mean ghata only dvitiyamane it cannot be uh, he brings something else and definitely not sentient and insentient bheda so gamane if one says and then he says you dviti uh, dvitiyamane <laughs> then the other cannot be non cow it has to be a cow similarly here atma in dvivachana also in dvivachana if he says here sankhya is heard so this sankhya will make whatever is this whatever is the nature of the first the second dvivachana second also has to have the same nature like balaka if you say then it has to be balaka you can say it is other is balika okay but it is also she is also sentient being therefore that is the hetu tad darshana is loke tad darshana also and here you can take it as loke tad darshana not tad darshana then as the shravana you can take uh, second time you can take it as tad darshana as loke tad darshana so that is hetu sankhya shravane cha sankhya vato ho those who have that sankhya both have to have a similar nature have the same nature really they have to be atma so one is atma therefore the other is also atma the second is parmatma that is the सूत्र गुहा प्रविष्टा आत्मा ही तदर्शन इतश्च जीव परमात्म एव गुहा प्रविष्ट इतिया एंड वाय सो देर इज अदर रीजन ऑल्सो देर इज अनदर रीजन वाय बोथ हैव टू मीन आत्मा नॉट बुद्धि एंड जीव जीव एंड परमात्मा इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दोज हू हैव एंटर्ड दि गुहा वाय विशेषण विशेषण what is this visheshana use what is the visheshana use if you go some mantras later sodhana sodhana param apnoti so adhvana adhvana param param apnoti param is he goes beyond that and then devam matva dhiro harsha shoka jahati just give me one moment let me look up the mantra i didn't uh, copy the mantra there Uh, issue is uh, sorry is the screen screen still visible it's flashing on the screen no it's there it's there right yes so uh So here uh, the mantra if you look up shanti kanti visheshana acharya ha so there atmanam rathinam vidhi shariram ratham eva tu the section begins there in katopanishad and then what is said the, the with the ratha kalpana there is uh, there are a lot of similes given as to atma is like the ratha swami and then buddhi uh, the the horses are like the indriyas whereas the the paths on which the horses are running of the chariot the chariot comparison with the chariot so the horses are like the indriyas sense organs and the the paths on which the horses are running are the indriya vishayas and then the mind is uh, the uh, basically the uh, the reins of the tied to the horses and one who is holding that is the buddhi so the ratha chalaka is the Uh, buddhi whereas atma is the real swami so this is a comparison given with the the sharira compared to the chariot there and then after explaining all that atmanam rathinam vidhi ityadi and uh, uh, you know what is manas and all that all that simile is given finally is that indriyani hayana hu ityadi then finally it goes to uh, just then the bheda is given just to atmanam uh, 
yastu avidyanavan bhavati what are, what is the characteristic of avidyanavan and the other is yastu vidyanavan bhavati so samanaskaha sada suchi ityadi all those are given and then finally um, purushatna param kinchit sa kashta sa paragati hi there is finally when you analyze all this there is you reach that purusha who is the rataswami and that, there is no one other than the purusha there is nothing beyond this purusha you cannot go beyond this is sa kashta sa paragati hi you cannot separate this purusha further you cannot separate this purusha what we have seen in the, when we looked at the taitriya panchakosha viveka also i had mentioned this sa kashta sa paragati from katha itself that there is a limit to separating yourself away from that which was misunderstood as atma so kosha similarly here in the viveka when the ratha kalpana also finally land on this purusha who is paramatma who is you atma then it is said sodvana param apnoti tad vishnu paramam padam so what is said there is विज्ञान सार्थिस्तु मन प्रग्रहान नर दोधन पारम आपनोति तद्विष्णु परम पदम दैट किम पदम व्हाट इज दैट फाइनल डेस्टिनेशन इन इंक्वायरी यू विल लैंड ऑन तद विष्णु हो विष्णु इज व्यापक व्यापका विष्णु व्यापनशील से ब्रह्मण विष्णु हो परमात्मनो हो वासुदेवाख्य से हुई ऑल्सो कड़ा वासुदेव paramam prakrushtam padam sthanam that is the final goal that you will reach and then yat asav apnoti vidwan this vidwan sodvan of param apnoti is that paramatma sthana which is one soul reality one attains so jnanena sodvan of param apnoti has been said and then another mantra is quoted there i wanted to look up that mantra to see whether bhagwan bhashyakara quotes that as well uh, actually this uh, there is a typo here evam matva you can read as evam matva so evam matva dhiro harsha shoko jahati so what is said there is that knowing this so this uh, actually it is adhyatma Uh, yeah okay i found the this thing so there uh, i was looking at the mantra the beginning of the mantra if the beginning doesn't come to mind then you are not sure who is this De- devam so devam has been mentioned so jyotanath devam so that that is also true jyotanath devam but what is the mantra there if you look at tan durdarsham gunam gudam so tan dur tan durdarsham just give me one moment i have this trouble with uh, long sight and short sight now so if i switch the vision it takes a little time to adjust so i was not clear what i am reading tan durdarsham gudam anupravishtam guhayitam gavhareshtam puranam adhyatma yogadigamena devam matva dhiro harsha shokau jahati so this mukti phala what is this phala moksha moksha what is this moksha so there tena matva dev atmanam dhiraha harsha shokau jahati that is the mantra there सो देव मत्वा धीर हर्ष शोक जहाति देर उज देव सो देर भगवान भाष्यकार से सामधान अध्यात्म योग तस् अगम प्राप्ति तेन मत्वा देव आत्मा देव इज आत्मा सो ज्योतनाथ प्रकाशस्वूप ज्योतनाथ देव दिस् because it is prakasha swarupa elsewhere he has said so uh, jyotanath here he says atmana he assumes that you understand that so that deva who is that deva rathaswami really find that rathaswami is atma so devam atmanam matva dhiraha harsha shokau jahati so what is this param apnoti attainment is this devam matva having understood that This is, mana is what avadhar nyani mana nyani the fourth gana dhatu there is in the nyana artha so devam matva atmanam matva having understood this atma sah advana param apnoti all that is together has the same meaning so this param apnoti is not by some gati not by traveling somewhere he is not attending some uh, vishnu loka ityadi that vishnu ho param padam 
is really atmajnanam abhinna param brahma bhinna brahma bhinna advitiya brahma bhinna atmajnanam so that devam matva atmanam matva dhiraha this kachit dhira which was talked in other mantra in katha will itself kachit dhira some some person that same dhiraha harsha shokau jahati he goes beyond this he gives up this elation and being dejected due to any vishaya prapti aprapti and these are upalakshana for all emotions everything that one finds as you know limiting oneself one gives all that up iti jiva paramatmano eva asmin prakarane gantru gantavya bhavena cha visheshi tattva ityartah so as the attain gantru gantavya is one who attains and one who is attained so gantavya is to be attained praptavya and gantru is ganta is prapaka this person who is if you say krama mukti then one who attains brahma loka if you take jivan mukti then one who attains it here and now but there is an attainer and attained bheda which is due to avidya again it is mithya vachana really there is no real real bheda between attainer and attained but then as long as there is bheda it will appear so that oh, I, i have to attain brahma jnana i have to attain brahma so with that it is says gantru gantavya bhavena due to that visheshi tattva ityartha there is a difference made there as there is one who is to attain the other is the attained now if you take buddhi and jiva buddhi does not attain jiva you cannot say buddhi is going to attain jiva because it has been said the same prakarana talks about these two in those two one is the even if you say upasana one is the upasaka the other is the upasya if it is jnana then one is the jnana vishaya and one is the jnata the jiva is jnata you cannot say buddhi is going to attain jiva buddhi will never attain jiva the insentient cannot attain it cannot uh, travel to brahma loka as in without the chetana there is no way that buddhi and jiva are being talked about but jiva and parmatma as the attainer and attained nobody says that buddhi has attained jiva no upanishad no shastra talks about buddhi attaining jiva there is only discussion in dvaita shastra also discussion is jiva attaining parmatma whether in uh, as sarupya salokya all that is you know debatable that is a different matter but to say that ritam pibanto mean buddhi and jiva is absolutely wrong they have to mean jiva and parmatma whether there is bheda or abheda is a different matter which is the topic under discussion in all upanishads in bhashya but in the mantra you cannot have such kind of a mistake to start if your foundation itself is wrong you cannot uh, analyze further therefore rutam pibantu do not mean buddhi and jiva they mean jiva and parmatma so visheshana cha further uh, the adikarana is over in antara adikarana there are other mantras which are looked at so uh, most of the mantras which are analyzed in brahma sutra chandogya mantras even more than brahadarnaka although brahadarnaka is huge still the discussion in brahma sutra is more on chandogya than on brihat and others also other upanishads also they are discussed less in fact um, bhagwan bhashyakara wrote two commentaries only on one upanishad all other upanishads uh, all other uh, nine upanishads he has written one commentary which is called as uh, pada bhashya but kena is the only one where he wrote two bhashyas one is called as pada bhashya which is generally studied there is vakya bhashya also that vakya bhashya the second bhashya on kena upanishad is because kena mantras are not discussed in brahma sutra you don't find kena mantras discussed and not so much if at all there is a quotation here and there in the bhashya it may come up also but then kena not being analyzed in as much detail as other upanishad mantras in brahma sutra bhagwan bhashyakara thought that he has to do vakya analysis also because here you don't see pada analysis in brahma sutra quotations of the vishaya or vishaya mantra they are not vishaya words there and not so much of the there is analysis of word of course there is but then it is the, through the context analysis and more of the vakyas are discussed there parts of the vakya there 
so when you look at here you know uh, the vakya is quoted and then you analyze as to uh, what they mean so here you know uh, pibanto so the pibanto who are these pibanto in that context of the vakya there is an analysis so there is a vakya analysis and vakya compared to other vakyas in other upanishads so that kind of analysis is not done in brahma sutra with kena upanishad in such detail therefore he wrote uh, another bhashya this is an aside because uh, uh, most of the analysis will be chandogya and chandogya that too most of it is upasana kanda lot of analysis on upasanas and then you conclude as to who is the upasya and then you take it to jnana kanda as to aikya vishaya so we we'll look at more in the next part huh? as to again the chandogya uh, where uh, akshigata purusha is being discussed again the, we have seen a little bit in uh, anta uh, there is a other adikarana where we see antaha so antaha we have seen earlier also but here more such mantras are discussed and akshigata purusha who is it that is uh, being looked at uh, and here purva paksha is a little different so uh, some contrast will be made with the earlier earlier discussion as to surya mandala gata and then uh, jeeva gata now here uh, this uh, akshigata purusha is discussed and with a different purva paksha we we'll look at more in the next part huh? i'll try to add the bhashya so that i have a quick reference and you can also look up on the screen so it is not that i am looking up bhashya somewhere and you don't know you know what i am talking about so you have to you know be a little more alert so if it is on the screen you can also follow a little with what words are being discussed so i am trying to get these bhashya and mantra at least parts of what are discussed into the book itself let's see amrayantak samsiddham adi madhyanta varjitam आनंद घनम आपूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरूपास्मे तत्सत नमस्ते धन्यवाद